Howdy, y'all. This is another episode of my V-Blog, courtesy of me, Adventure Link. That's me. So, I know it's been a while since I did this, so without further ado, let's get started. How are you guys today? I'm doing good. Good day, good evening. I hope your day or evening is going well for you when you view my videos. Um, if it's your birthday, as always, congratulations. If you had a loss in your family or your friends, then I'm sorry to hear about your loss. And in this regard, recently I had to put my dog to sleep. What happened was she ended up catching a real bad ammonia. It filled her lungs up like almost to capacity and she was on which she could breathe like was barely, barely. And it would have been a very expensive and probably hopeless process to... Um, reverse the effects so we just for the best if we just put her down so yeah mostly over that now but I was put it this way all that night I was pretty much balling like a little schoolgirl so yeah okay so it was brought to my attention that there's a super typhoon around the Philippines and it is was about to hit Vietnam known as Haiyan, H-A-I-Y-A-N, so all I can say is, you know, be safe, and if you have any losses there, you know, my thoughts and condolences are with you at your time of loss and grief, so may you find peace and healing in your time of tragedy. Also, that Veterans Day is coming up, so make sure that you... That if you have any veterans, you know, you see them out on the street, or if you have any family that's a veteran, get out and thank them. In fact, don't just do it on Veterans Day. Don't just be like, oh, hey, it's Veterans Day. We gotta, I gotta honor as many soldiers as I can. No. That's not what, even though it is about, that is what Veterans Day is about, really, you should be grateful that the, that all the soldiers out there, past, present, and future, are out there fighting in these wars, and have made sacrifices, so that way we can keep our freedoms and liberties and fight for new ones going forward. So, and as always, you know, with me, you know, if I do find a veteran and on my friend list on Facebook or something, you know, I will, you know, thank them for their service to the country. Or, you know, if I find one, you know, out on the street or whatever, or when I'm shopping, I have noticed they're a veteran, you know, you get their attention, look them in the eye. Hold out your hand, offer a handshake, and you tell them thank you for your service to the country. I do it every chance I get. You should too. So, I also want to say, you know, happy Veterans Day, and I and I honestly do thank every single man, man and woman, past, present, and future, for their services to the country. Um, next off, as you can see, I've got two new things with my face. As you can see, the Movember. It's back, baby. Woo! Yep, it's No Shave November again, so just like last time, I'm participating in it this time, as you can see. Also, I happen to get another pair of glasses. And in addition to that, hey, me without my glasses. Woohoo! I got me some shade, yo. Look pretty good. What do you think? I like them. They slide on and off like a glove. Hey, there's me without my glasses again. Alright, that's enough of that. As you can see, this here is a Samsung Galaxy Note 3. But, I've got a case on it this time. I uh, got tired of waiting on the OtterBox, so I ended up ordering this Sadio yeah, Sadio case off of Amazon. And so far, for the most part, it's been pretty good. The holster, I've had it for a few weeks now. Seems to hold up pretty good from for what I've put it through so far. The only drawback is that it's not as big as bulk, big and bulky as an otter box, nor does it come with a screen protector, so you'll have to source a screen protector yourself. And uh, anyone who's skeptical about how these stadios work, I've seen complaints on XDA where the S Pen wouldn't function as well with the kickstand locked and loaded like this. 
So I actually did several drawings here of several popular characters. Um, I'll be adding them in the video here now. And let's play a little guessing game. Um, if you can guess what the characters are, that would be great. Feel free to post them in the comment section or hit me up in PM or something. And if you do get it right, I will let you know. Of course, do give the timestamps of each character so I know where to look at to, for your guesses. Also, I managed, in my recent adventures of being single... Check this out, baby. Pokemon X. And in that regard, I did have someone for a few days. It really didn't last that long. So, moral of the story, kids. This is why I have so many rules on my Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google+. And whenever I administer, own, operate, etc., IRC servers, Facebook groups, web forums, etc., and why I have so many on dating. And as a short sample, you know, as always, if I offend, um, you know, I never, I try to keep, you know, this kind of stuff off of YouTube because I got, you know, repair videos and such, and I do want to be taken somewhat seriously. But when I do, I just want to get stuff off my chest, so... You know, as always, rule number one is if I offend you, well, fuck you. Rule number two, I don't play the on-off bullshit. I'm not a switch. You're either with me, against me, agree to disagree, or you're just not with me at all. Don't play, you know, hey, I'm going to be his friend one day, and then 20 minutes later, boom, I get deleted off of YouTube or Facebook or whatever. Or, you know, I'm with you. We're done. I'm with you. We're done. Either make up your mind or don't. It's up to you. But if you want to keep playing the game, I'll make the next move and chances are you won't like it. Rule number three. I actually happen to get into, well, spicier side things. If you want to know more about it, I guess hit me up in the PM or something. Because I really don't feel like admitting that much on YouTube. But just say so you know. That's why I mean by Spicer things. Rule number four. I don't take kindly to the bye 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 gimme 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 bullshit either. So, you know, now of course there are exceptions. Like, you know, if we're going to go to a movie or go out to eat or whatever and you want me to pay for it or go Dutch, you know, that's cool. Or go in half, you know, that's cool too. That's understandable. But when it escalates to DVD or DVD. <laughs> okay, for real. DVD box sets, DVD players from Best Buy, that's bullshit. And, I hate to say this, but keep me out of the bed, lest you're going to hate me forever. That's all I'm good at, it is wrecking relationships when it gets to that point. Once it gets to that point, it just all unravels, you know, it's all fine, you know. It's all fine, then I get into bed and everything just unravels. So, with that being said, I don't take kindly to the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde bullshit. Where, you know, everything is just peachy and fine, you know, all day long and up to that point. But then after that, something snaps or goes wrong. And then, it just goes all downhill from there, so, yeah. And, of course, on... And, of course, when it comes to the other stuff like Facebook, Google+, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, web forums, my own property, digital, physical, otherwise, you know, rule number one, as always, is if I offend you, well, fuck you. Rule number two, you do not fucking dictate how often I can post, what I can and cannot post, like, share, etc. As well as who becomes my friend and all that, so, yeah. Rule number three, I don't take kindly to the on-off bullshit, which I already explained that. No need to go through it again. Rule number four, and this could also be applied to dating. I forgot to include it there, but I'll include it now. I don't take kindly to the high-maintenance bullshit either. This is why I can't stand luxury cars. 
This is why I can't stand, you know, better tiptoe or be careful what you post, lest someone gets all easily offended and deletes. Fuck that noise, seriously. So, yeah. So, if you can't handle that, well, to quote the 3 minute 50 se 3 minute 51 second mark of Might's Game Glitches Kirby Edition, if you can't handle that, well, fuck off. And with that being said, at the Amazon, I got entrusted with the high value area recently, and by recently I mean last weekend I was there. What this is, is that it's an area of our building, excuse me, where all the watches, jewelry, and other such expensive things are located. Recently I was entrusted with picking items out of there, so, hey, I'm slowly moving up in the world. I'll take, I mean, it's slow but surely, but I'll take it. And recent repairs and things that's coming to be recently repaired. I finally kicked the power window issue on my grand marquee to bring closure to that. Um, what happened was that, the, was that it was the motor slash regulator that was actually what was going bad. Now, if you remember my switches video, I showed you where it wouldn't work. I hotwired it, as you, can, as you saw in the video. It was going up and down just fine, which led me to a, something in the switch. Like, clean it or replace it, and we'll see how it goes. So I replaced the switch, and I still got the same problem. I was like, really? But it's dealt with it for a while, then I just was like, and then recently I was like, it did it again. I was like, F this noise, I'm just going to go get this shit looked at. So I did, and that's what, that's what happened. Power window motor slash regulator went out. Got a new one in, and it's been working good. And to bring closure on the no heat issue, the blend door actuator exploded on me. Which, that's no good. And there's actually three such actuators. There is a fresh air actuator, a vent actuator, and the hot cold actuator. What most likely happened is the hot cold actuator is the one that went bad. And because of that, that's going to require ripping the dash open. But I'm not looking forward to that. So I guess there's a video on how to rip the dash open on an 04 Grand Marquis GS. That would be great. Hit me up in the comment section if you can find one for me. Or if you made one yourself, that's fine too. Well, I guess that's all I gotta say for, for the time being. And it was a pretty lengthy episode because of how... Because of how long I've been out. So I do apologize for the length of the episode. Just that I've ran out of things to say until now so guess we're gonna close this off by saying that I'm Adventure Link thanks for watching I appreciate your watching and taking your time to see what I have to say or listen to what I had to say and see my pretty face or whatever I hope you had fun watching this video and we're gonna close this off as always by quoting Eric the Car Guy's wise words of wisdom reminding you guys out there to be safe have fun and stay dirty and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, praise, criticisms, etc., but no flames, fighting, spam, or other such bullcrap, then hit me up in the comment section. The blog Hangouts are on Facebook and Google+. There will be links in the video description, but the easiest way is to go on either medium, search for Adventure Links V-Blogs, and join up from there. As always, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, or in the video description. You can hit the subscribe button see any new videos that I put on YouTube. And thumbs up, thumbs down the videos as you please, I guess. And it's starting to get chilly outside, so make sure that you stay warm and bundle up if you have to. Eat right and stay healthy. Don't let anyone push you around. And I will see each and one of you next time. Have a nice day.